we're at the Fort Tejon um, Historical Park, and here's a little plaque for Peter Lebeck, who was killed by a bear October 17, 1837. We're going to see a little uh, diorama of that once we get in the park. This is right off of Interstate 5. There we go. So we're going to go in and look at the look at the fort. There's my boy. We're inside one of the surviving buildings and here you can see the uh, where the uh, soldiers would keep their gear and their rifles. We'll see what's next. Chico, easy. There's a little bit of reflection here, but you can see kind of the 1854 uniform right about when the fort opened from 1854 to 1864. And then this is 1856, another 1856. 1861, kind of like what they wore in the Civil War. This is the uh, first regiment of United States Dragoons. And then the second cavalry regiment, California Volunteers. This is 1864, right about when the fort closed and we were still fighting the Civil War. Here you go. We're on the parade and drilling ground. The complex extended across the freeway to the other side of the freeway. Of course, the freeway wasn't here. Here's the building that we were just in and we just took a couple of pictures of. And then more barracks were right here. And then in the 1950s, an earthquake knocked everything down here. So you just have what the foundation was. parlor for the officers or the head of the complex. I'm not sure which. In the dining room. That's a piece of these uh, turkey or these uh, chickens, these roosters right here. Look at him. Look at him. He wants them. He wants to taste them. Hey! Here's a shot of the officers' quarters. It's not restored. Here's where the post commissary and you got your ordinance. And there is the hospital was here too. You see there's just nothing left now. And here's the jail at Fort Tejon. After a bit of driving here, we're on um, California 223, east of Arvin, California. And you can see that we're driving through the, the grapevines. The, they're, they're really uh, looking like they're uh, starting to bloom. Spring has come to California, at least the lower San Joaquin Valley. Well, hell, we see it in Lodi, too, so the upper San Joaquin Valley. In fact, everywhere we're going, we're seeing spring. Spring is here because it's spring. And there you have it. We've uh, taken off in Keene off of California 58, and now we're on the old highway, uh, US 466. You see us crossing under the new Highway 58, which was built in the early 60s. Uh, we're driving towards 
the Tehachapi Loop, which of course I got out and filmed. Here I am pulling over to, oh there's Chico, here I am pulling over to run some film with the, at the Tehachapi Loop. So, enjoy. There's a little bit of dead space. I, I didn't edit this well, so here you go. On our way back to um, to Hatchapi, we're on old US 466. Excuse me, and we're at the Tehachapi Loop. Now what this is, a long train doubles over itself in a big loop right here. Let me walk down a little bit more. I want to show you the tunnel. I didn't pull up quite. I pulled up a little bit too far. Oh, there's a good dog. There we go. Okay, you can see right here. You can see the train tunnel and the train tracks over the tunnel. And this is a, a Tehachapi Loop. It's a famous spot. Train people love it here. Especially when a big long train comes and you can see the train doubling back over itself. It's a, it's a big deal if you're a train guy. I think it'd be sharp to see, but I'm not a big train guy, so... Anyway, here's what it looks like in the Tehachapi's. It's all green. A little bit brisker as we can get higher up in altitude. We're going to take the old highway into Tehachapi. I've uh, never I've uh, never been on the old highway past this point right here, so it'll be new for me too. And here you go. It's a different view of the loop that I hadn't forgotten about. And the markers are right here. The loop was built in 1874 to 1876 when the railroad first breached the Tehachapi's. Yeah, that's what it says, constructed in 1874. Except for stopping at the grocery store to get us some dinner. That was our last stop of the day. So here we are, just a little bit more time on US 466 on our way to Tehachapi. We had a nice drive. We're going to look at the flowers of tomorrow. And I'm sure you'll see more film of that. So, see ya for today.